penultimate episode of Strictly Confidential brings me to the Hilton Hotel in Glasgow. And this next couple are fun, fun, fun. Let's go and meet them. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Gwen and Graham, good to see you both. How are you getting on? going well isn't it? Yeah, it's doing good. So. Graham answered for you there. Come on Gwen, tell the truth. How's it going? It's doing well. Good. Doing well, yes. Um, practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. I think that's it, yes. Um, hopefully we'll be foot perfect for the night. Well you've got a couple of weeks left and yeah. you're looking quite good already yeah. and I can just tell you two are quite a fun couple. Yeah. So you're having a good laugh, doing the routine and spending time together. Yeah, it is. It's good fun. It's yeah. good fun. Yeah. Gwen, Gwen chose the, the dance style we're doing this year because it matches her personality. Right, okay. <laughs> so is it, I'm thinking Charleston or a salsa, something like that maybe? Yeah. Yes, salsa. Yeah. <laughs> salsa, oh excellent, quite sexy, you've got to have good hip action there Gwen, yeah, so yeah, how's yeah. our hip action Graham? It's actually very good, very You're natural, I haven't had to um, push it too much, it's dancing really well. <laughs> Gwen, what are you most looking forward to on the night? Uh, the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, you're going to have a big band, all your friends will be supporting you, you're going to look fabulous in your costume, I'm there sure must be one thing you're looking forward to. Uh, Actually, I just hope that I get it all right. I think that's it. I'm quite um, a perfectionist, mm -hmm. so I don't want to get up there, go the wrong way, and I'm just sort of, I keep thinking, right, get it into your head, left, right, left, right. Mm -hmm. I think I might need to draw that in my hands and say, right, left, right, left, right. Um, it's a bit like driving, I'm not very good at that left and right there either. <laughs> well, you surprised yourself and I can tell you in all the years we've been doing this, no one's ever been up there and forgot yeah. the routine, so yeah. that won't happen to you. Fun, fun, fun. And tell me about the fundraising for the hospice, what does that mean to you? Um, it's, it's a great cause um, and anything I can do to support it is great. I've been doing bacon, making soup for my work, my work has been great. They've all been, every Thursday and Friday they get soup and bacon and they've supported me very well. Uh, all my family have supported me, raffle prizes, everything, because we're having a big event a week on Saturday um, in East Bride. So it's, we're hoping that um, it's going to be a great turnout. My husband's even playing in his band and everything like that, so it should be a good laugh. Um, so we're hoping that that'll get us over the, the final line. But it's, it's been, every pound has been hard work for, you know, we've worked hard to get it, so. Well done and thank you. That. It sounds as if you put a lot of effort into the fundraising, yes, so sure. hopefully Graham, she's put the same amount of effort into the dance and you two will be fabulous on the night. So if you want to support Gwen and Graham, the details of how you can do that are right here. Good luck, you two. Thank you. Thank you.